Hello everyone, this is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. And today I'm gonna to talk about card grading. And um, I've talked about this earlier because I did attend the uh, first uh, card uh, graders training that uh, CSG did. And uh, it was a, uh, an invitation only uh, event. You had to like apply, send in a, you know, it was an online application and then they said they'd get back to you, they, they needed references, who you were, what you did, all that stuff, whatever, whatever, whatever. Anyway, I filled it all out. I did uh, go and I, uh, and I got my diploma. I got my diploma there. So um, it was a CSG Academy and it said uh, diploma presented to me recognition of completing the first ever CSG Academy, and it was June 26 and 27, 2021 in Sarasota. And it's signed by the chair, uh, chairman, Mark uh, Salzberg, and the uh, Andy Broom, the senior grading, and the grading finalizer. He finalizes all of the, every card that is graded a 10 by CSG, by the first initial grader, will go through Andy again and make sure that it is a 10 so, uh, you know, the higher graded cards, I'm sure, go through him. So that's the diploma that I got at the end of the, uh, the two-day show. It was a two, not show, a two-day session where um, it was in Sarasota. You, you had to go out there and uh, basically, uh, you know, stayed at a hotel one night. They didn't allow you to, this, this is what, this is, a couple pictures from that event and some of the people that attended there there were over a hundred people that were there and there's another picture there more than a hundred people were there they were all people that were already pre-screened pre-screened and, and uh, invited there some flew many flew from other states because I talked to them and uh, you know they uh, CSG would uh, would help them. Uh, CSG would help help them as far as the travel and stuff. Now, once you got inside, they did not allow you to take any pictures, any video, nothing at all. You know, I, I did sneak in one picture here, and uh, there were a lot of people behind me and a lot of people on the other side. But you could see the presenters were there, and they had two big screen TVs where they would literally just show. Uh, cards and close-ups of cards and stuff like that to see, you know, what was going on. Um, and they would be talking about it and everything there. Basically, it's, it's a, it was a school. It was a two-day school. And it was, as you can see during the, the time, it was um, June of 2021. And that's when, um, uh, so now that's a couple of years ago, that's when the, they really started with the, when CSG started grading. So when you went in there, they, they have, Thing ready for you, which is this bag here, and inside the bag, <coughs> they gave you, uh, of course, this the mat, the grading mat, which I used it in my initial videos until I got my own collector's dream mat. Uh, the other stuff they gave you were, uh, of course, you had a, you had like a badge. That you had, and I'll get your mind lines in there somewhere. Uh, they gave you a little book to take notes, and uh, here is my badge. So that was my badge, and that went in here. So you went with that. There it is, June 26, 27. And they gave you a sample of their slab at the time when they first uh, started. This was a CSS Academy. So they gave you a sample of the slab. In case you had not seen the slab, they gave you a sample of that. And uh, they gave you um, this, which was a... Uh, magnifying light 
So you can take a good look at the cards and this is what it looks like. It's a magnifying light. Then it does light up. So you can get a good look at the cards. As you can see, you know, they give you that. They also, uh, you got this CSG thing here, which is a, a loop. It's the loop that they use. I can't even open it right now. I don't know. Oh, here it goes. So they give you a loop. So you can really take a good look with the tooler's loop. And uh, so anyway, I um, I use something different just to give you guys a good idea of what I, what I actually use. And uh, the one I use is this Carlson Pro loop. Also has a measuring thing. They also gave you a little a thing to measure the cards. I don't have it in my little package here because I, I use it quite a bit. And this is the loop that I use and it comes in this little thing here and that's what it is. And it's got, what I like about it, it's got the regular light with the magnify and it's got the black light with the magnify, you know, the matte black light. And uh, so that's, that's kind of what I use. That's the loop I have and it does have a little measuring thing inside there that, uh, you know, it's kind of there. So just to give you an idea of what I'm currently using. But what they gave you there were, were the uh, little things that I showed you. So, uh, let's see what else I had in this little thing here. Yeah, no, no, no. So that's pretty much what they gave you there. And then they gave you, since they said you couldn't take any, 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 you couldn't take any video, so they gave you this to take notes. So I didn't take the notes here, but I did take notes, of course, because I, I wanted to try to do the best I can to, uh, to, to kind of, uh, when I got out of there, to know what I was looking for. So the other thing that uh, they gave us was a little sticker here. And this is like a little hollow flag there. This is in honor of Andy Broom. Andy was the head uh, guy there, and he uh, actually uh, graded a Hannes Wagner card. Uh, he uh, was the head vintage grader at Beckett, and uh, he's, you know, very, very good, very nice guy. I got a chance to talk to him. And uh, at the end of the whole thing, I'm going to go over some of the details here as to how they grade and what they look for and that kind of thing. But at the end of the whole thing, they um, basically uh, uh, sent me a letter after I left saying that they would, they had a contest there, first of all, uh, the first, the top five people, and this is, this is the, uh, the human resources, if anybody wants to contact them to become a uh, grader. So they had, uh, they did a, a, a contest at the end, not a contest, but just to check, uh, to uh, see how good you did. And what they actually did was they, uh, the, the top five people there were literally almost hired on the spot. And, and then the other people, there were over 100 people there. The other people, they said they would contact you. So for me, they did contact me. They did ask me to come in for an interview. Uh, I, I, I declined because uh, I was, you know, I retired, which I didn't tell them earlier, but I was retired. So um, the way they did it at the end, and here are some of my notes. I'm going to share some of those notes with you guys. So some of the, uh, some of the, uh, I'm stumbling and bumbling and looking at the notes myself and just trying to talk. So, so what they did at the end was that they gave you, after the, the, the end of the two days, the test was that they gave you a, um, uh, 10 cards. And they asked you to uh, grade those 10 cards. And there is actually, I didn't have the form because they didn't allow you to keep it, but there's a form that they have, which are grader notes. They do have grader notes. And it says on, on there, you know, the, the corners, the edges, the, all the stuff. And then at the end, it has a little thing to put any additional notes. If you see any race marks or any alterations or whatever. So, and, and you would need to know that you know, the, the card, the info on the card, you would look at the card and you'd have to write down what the card was and make sure that it coincides with what it was, whatever. Anyway, it was, 
It was a pretty detailed on every card. There are greater notes that are actually taken. And I believe that they should be showing that to the customer because you do buy that. You do pay for that. So, and I believe all companies do the same thing. So, uh, after they did that, they, they gave you 10 cards. And they said to you that one of the cards was altered. You didn't know which one it was. And you got cards from all different years, you know, uh, from old ones, uh, tobacco card, all the way up to the modern uh, prism card. And, you know, somewhere ranges in between. And you had to grade every single card. And at the end, uh, you turned it in. And about an hour later, you, everybody met and they picked the five winners and they said, you know, you will they'll contact you. So I was contacted there and, and asked to, uh, to, to schedule an interview. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't do that at the time. But um, anyway, uh, to go over some of the stuff, they, they do subgrades here. These are some of my notes. And you know, sorry for my bad handwriting, but I'm just going to go over this thing the way that they, uh, they talked about it. And hopefully I can remember all of the notes that I took. So let's start with this. Uh, CSG, they have no qualifiers used miscut, etc. These are, again, my notes because they did not allow you to take any video or, or anything else. So a 10 is perfect, no flaw is perfect. A 10 pristine is one 9.5 subgrade and one minor flaw. And this is the lowest grade autograph grade that they give is a 5. So you can't give it lower than a 5 auto grade. Now a 9.5, well that's the pristine. 9.5, which is a gem mint. It says nearly flawless, one small flaw. Centering has to be 50-50 or 50 to 45. Minor print defects, it could have minor print defects. That would be a 9.5. A nine is four sharp corners, slight corner touch, 50-50 or 50-45 centering, and a, a subgrade, it has to, uh, you know, one of the things that they told you is that, um, see how I remember it is, if you have the lowest grade on your, let's say you grade a card an 8 in one subgrade, uh, and the other subgrades are all uh, 9 and 9.5, and the highest you could grade it is an 8.5. You can only go a half, half they said you could only go a half a grade over the lowest subgrade, if, if, if I explain myself correctly, even though the other grades may be a lot higher. So um, an 8.5 is near mint, mint, one minor flaw, minor touches of wear, could be a slight diamond cut, and eye appeal is a factor. And they talked about eye appeal, especially for vintage. They really focused on eye appeal. So even though I just wrote a little note on there as I was going along, you know, some of these discussions went on for five, 10 minutes. People would ask questions and so on. An eight is a near mint mint. It could be 60, 40 centering, one minor flaw, slight chipping on the edges. Uh, seven and a half near mint is 65, 35 centering, touch of wear on two thirds, two of the three, two or three corners. It could have touch of wear on two or three corners. Slight rough edges, maybe out of register. So it could be a still seven and a half, five and a half, remember out of register is what you look for in eye appeal also. So, uh, you know, th these are the grading uh, standards for CSG guys. That's what I'm talking about here. And that's how they explained it to us during that uh, conference, that, that uh, school. A seven is a near mint, 70, 30 centering. Uh, can have touch of wear on three plus corners. It can be out of register with slight rough edges. A six and a half, uh, one slight corner ding. And a ding is a little more than just a, a, a rough corner or, or a touch corner. No more than two flaws, moderate diamond cut. And that would be a uh, six and a half. A six is excellent near mint. You could have up to 75, 25 centering. Corner dings, light stains, wax stain, or light 
scratches. And that's something that we need to talk about because the surface is so important and people don't realize that. Five and a half, excellent. Corners may show fuzziness and rounding. Now fuzziness, and if you look closely, fuzziness is, is almost more than a rounded corner. And let's go to a five, excellent. An excellent card now can be 85 to 15 centering with fuzzy corners and chipping on the edges. A VGX, four and a half, slight rounding of corners, surface flaws, 85-15 centering, and off-white border. So basically, if it has surface flaws, that card's not gonna get more than a five, even if the corners are eights. So that's just a little tip that I didn't realize until I went there. Four, it says a v VGX, rounding of corners, surface flaws. Three and a half with a VG card, 90-10 centering or miscut, four rounded corners and severe off centering. A VG card, lot, large amount of wear, rounded corners, edges, wear, surface damage. Uh, a two and a half can have a heavy crease, not running length of the card. It could have some, some riding, uh, et cetera. So since they don't use qualifiers, remember they don't use qualifiers, so they don't use the marked MK, uh, a two and a half card can have some riding in it. A two is good, heavy creasing, 90-10 centering, major miscut, rounded corners. A one and a half, major surface flaws, severe miscut, minor pinhole. A one, major surface damage, multiple pinholes, missing piece, etc. no alterations. And that was very important because one of the things they focused on was, was altered cards. And the first thing they ask you to look for is alterations. And uh, let me finish off here. Subgrades, centering, corners, edges, and surface. And it says on the surface, attention to detail, scratches, etc. So that's what it just says that uh, edges, rough cuts from the factory can be graded an eight. So even if it has a rough cut, if it's, if it's a nice rough cut from the factory, that card could still be graded an eight, guys, because that's the way it came from the factory, and I really believe that. So um, the bottom line with all this is that they did talk about the alterations. I wanted to give you an idea of how the graders are taught, what they're taught, and how uh, the training goes about. Now, this is just a uh, preliminary training. So, um, you know, it was just a two-day training. And then once you're hired on, you basically go there and you spend time with the graders, watching the graders and things like that. Oh, the other thing I want to talk about is, real quick, they gave us 30 minutes to grade 10 cards. Uh, to me, the time went very, very fast. And at the end, you know, and they did it in different groups, by the way, because you couldn't s sit next to, to people. They would do one group, two groups, three groups. But at the end, after uh, everybody graded their cards, they, um, the first question was, how long does, do you give the graders to grade a card? And he says the graders have an average of about two minutes to grade per card. And that's the way it goes. So just to look at a card here, you know, they look at the corners. You look carefully at the corners, and of course they look at it with the loop and with the light. And you give the corners a, a grade. And with the loop, you can see a little bit better that that one is maybe a tiny, tiny bit, not a fuzzy corner, but you know, it's maybe a little tiny bit. So this, this would still qualify as uh, with that centering, you're still in the in the eight to nine category, but it's got to be looked at carefully. So then you look at one of the main things is the surface. See how you can see the surface? They look at it in different lighting. Now this one looks like it has a tiny little print mark there. See that? And that's stuff that you miss when you're looking at cards. You have to look at them at a different angle. So maybe that's looks like a little wax stain. 
So, but when you look at it, what they do is they have a big light and they look at it from all different angles like this and like that. So you could see all of the imperfections, if there's any scratches on it or anything like that. You know, those are the type of things they look, this looks like it's got a little wax, actually wax stains on there actually. I know I'm the second owner of this card, so got it from the guy originally pulled it from the pack in the back. And then you go and you look at the back also. And the back centering also has to be very good. And you have to look at, like, see, it does have some rough cut there. The other thing they look at it is you look at the card like this so you can see if there's alterations. You can tell if you see different colors on the border. The new cuts, you can tell when it's a new cut or when it's an old cut. If you look at it carefully, especially with the loop, so you can see. Now that's a little rough cut it has up there, you saw that. That's a rough cut and that is okay. That just comes from the factory. So just kind of want to give you guys an idea how they grade cards. And uh, you know, these are some of the ones that I bought for my uh, 71 set from CSG. So you can see, you know, the centering. These two are very similar. As far as the centering, one is one way, the other one's the other way. But that got a six and a half because the corners are a little bit better. And this one, the centering is better. The corners are sharper. The corners, see, it's a little bit better there. So that got a seven. So uh, this one, these did not get the actual, uh, you know, subgrades. But uh, they're there, so. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much uh, what I wanted to talk about today, the, uh, the grading and the grading uh, school that I, that I attended here, and I got my diploma from CSG. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned a little bit uh, from this video. I appreciate you watching my videos. Thanks so much, everyone, for watching and subscribing to my videos. Have an awesome, awesome day. This is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. Thanks again for watching.